Hi, uh, my name is Janet Swachino, and I'm the digital publishing specialist at the University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign. And I'm here to talk about um, Publishing Without Walls, which is our uh, startup publishing initiative. And um, specifically, uh, what I thought went with the theme of this conference, um, which is uh, authors taking back ownership, is um, I wanted to talk about our sandbox uh, workspace where we have our scholars experiment with different open source software. And it's part of our uh, larger effort to ensure usability and um, meaningful user engagement with our authors. And I'll also um, talk a little bit about some of the challenges we've encountered. Um, I'm presenting on behalf of uh, my department, which includes Harriet Green, who's the head of scholarly communication, and uh, Chris Madden, who you'll know because he um, participated remotely in the PKP sprint. Um, and real qu quickly, I wanted to talk about some of our values. Uh, publishing Without Walls is a library publishing initiative, and we're actually a partnership between the iSchool, um, the Department of African American Studies, and the Illinois Program for Research in the Humanities. And we have three different arms. We have a research arm, a publication and production arm, and an outreach and education arm. And the, the last two, the outreach and the publication, is really what's um, relevant here. And so when we meet one-on-one -on -one with scholars and when we conduct workshops, um, we try to encourage collaboration. So that's things like um, over-the-shoulder learning and small group discussion, uh, playfulness and tinkering, um, as well as like the idea of pedagogy as play. Uh, we try to focus on the process and um, building through providing a lot of unstructured time to dive into different open source tools. Uh, these are some of the tools that we offer. Um, a lot of big publishing uh, projects, especially other uh, projects that are funded by the Mellon Foundation, focus on tool building. But what we wanted to do was take tools that already existed and try to stitch them together and have them work together better in a, um, a publishing ecosystem. And this is a simplified um, version of our workflows. Uh, the sandbox is kind of where what I'm interested in here is because um, it's where we send people before we actually move them into the production phase. And it's where we uh, have participants work when we do um, workshops. And it's been really helpful because it's allowed us to um, do relatively large workshops um, where lots of people are experimenting and testing different software at the same time. And it's also helped us um, to develop and test new functionalities in, in these softwares. And um, it's also been really helpful for us to find bugs before we actually move the authors into pr the production phase. Um, let's see. And then I just wanted to talk some about some of the challenges. Uh, one of them is, of course, uh, like I touched on in the previous slide, is we tend to find bugs during workshops. Um, so we'll have a lot of people um, who will encounter the same problem at the same time. And that can be slightly stressful. And you can see this is a, a screenshot of our Slack channel, um, where our research programmer is trying to address uh, login issues in real time. Um, during a workshop remotely, which can be challenging. Um, we've also, uh, well, a lot of what I've had to do is manage people, uh, authors' expectations um, when, they're, uh, when they're in the workshops and moving from the uh, sandbox to the production phase. Um, and then finally, all of this takes uh, staff and resources, and right now we're funded for three years by the Mellon Foundation, but in order to continue to be as responsive as we are right now, um, what, we're gonna need sustainable continued fun funding from the library and, and our other partners. Um, so that's it. Thanks.